Okay. My dear friends, finally on on Friday. How to use should and should not. Okay, so but before we go into this topic, let me show you show you something. Antes de mostrarle este tema, my friends, the question is how is your mood? ¿Cómo se sienten? So, uh, how are you? It's like, como están, but how is your mood? How is your mood? Es como está su estado de ánimo. Okay? So, how is your mood? So, welcome to the class number 12. Bienvenidos a la clase 12. Just eight days and we're going to finish uh, this course. So, that's really, really a uh, good news. Okay? So, here we have how is your mood so how is your mood como esta ok hungry hambriento thirsty sediento sleepy sonoliento o con sueño upset disgustado worried preocupado aquí pueden decir angry enojado angry uh, you can say this one, fine. You can say some other, like, what? Let me, okay. Tired. Yes, sad, tired. Yep, that's it. And it's like emotional. Es como una cuestión emocional. ¿Cómo se siente? Because emotional. Depressive is, an, is a mood or not? ¿Qué te pasa, Carito? Tranquila, tranquila. Why are you depressed? The depression, teacher, the depression. Why? Economical depression or what? Todas las anteriores. <laughs> okay, depressive. Yeah, could it be depressive? Uh, you could talk about, uh, let me see. Angry, fine, such are depressive. Anxious. Yes, anxious. Anxious. Yeah, could it be? And here we have, okay, so you tell me how is your mood? Como esta, digamos, como esta su modo, como esta su, como esta, que mosquito le picó, se levantaron con el pie derecho, izquierdo, okay. So Nina, hello Nina. Okay, Nina. How are you, teacher? Well, um, I um, feel, um, I feel, I feel sick, yes. You feel sick, okay. I'm so sorry. But Is the same? Do you, you, do you have flu? Yeah, it's strong flu. Oh, wow. Yeah, it has like many days, like three or four days. Wow. Four well, days, yeah. Okay. Actually, I feel sleepy. <laughs> I feel like uh, I want, it's Friday. I feel kind of tired, but we're going to have like a really nice class. Tenemos un par de actividades interesantes. Yeah. So, in my case, I'm sleepy, but I'm going to be fine. So Nina is uh, sick, uh, she feels, feels sick, se siente pues como enfermita. Okay, what about Wendy and then Carito? Okay, Wendy, how is your mood tonight? I feel sleepy. Okay, yeah, por dos, okay, that's nice. Well, <laughs> not so nice, but uh, I understand you. Okay, what about you, Carito? And then we go with Kenya. Oh, teacher, I'm tired, tired, I'm depressive, I'm anxious. Wow. Suenas como, like what? Like, mm. if you have a mix of everything, right? Yeah. It's like a lot of things in, in your mind, right? Before the forties, that's the life. Okay, Carito, I strongly suggest you to have vacations or relaxing time. No me I caso, need vacations. Desde el curso pasado, no me haces caso. Okay, come on. Soy el gurú, el gurú del, del feeling. Y nadie me hace caso. Okay, so nice. Yes, I recommend you that, Carito. You need to go to okay. a spa. At least once in a year, una vez al año, once in mm, a year, magic. I like that. Yeah, you spend, we, we all of us spend money on different things, but we can spend money on our health. Yes, you're right. In, in, in salud, right? 
mental health and body health and also emotional. So that's it, Carito. Take notes, please. Remember, Carito. Si cuando usted estaba relajada, derritiéndose en el spa, te acuerdas, el teacher tenía razón. Teacher was right. <laughs> okay. Of course, definitely. Okay, so here we have also Kenya. How is your mood tonight? Okay, I feel tired and sleepy. Oh, tired and sleepy. Okay, that's a powerful combination. Okay, uh, good. Well, not so good, but thank you for telling Kenya. What about Claudia and Gabriel? And Gabriel, I show I'm still happy and angry. <laughs> Okay, I feel, I feel. I feel. Okay, I feel. De hecho, una canción de, I don't know si es Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams, creo que se llama Feel. La canción muy buena, a really good sound, right? Nice sound. Yeah, really nice sound. Okay, so you have another mix, okay? Otra combinación, like kind of different, thank you. And we go with Gabriel and Oscar. How is your mood? Um, fine, teacher. Fine. Oh, fine. Okay. Fine, fine good. Fine good. Nice. Fine and good. Like, really good. Positive. Thank you. Oscar and Wilfredo. I sleeping. Okay. For tres. <laughs> okay. Yes. You feel kind of sleepy. Uh, okay. Wilfredo and we go with Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Will. Sep. Okay, I'm sorry. How how Up. is your mood? Upset. Upset. Está, Upset. Está bravo este hombre. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> Todos se han cuidado con Will. Okay. Viene violento. No me okay. quieren prestar la computadora. <laughs> ah, quitáselas. Quitáselas. Okay, okay. Okay. Upset. Well, let's listen to Carlos and Steffi. Okay, teacher. Dressly, hungry, and sleepy. And sleepy. And sleepy. Okay. Okay, hungry. Mm, yes. Sometimes, I don't know if it happens to you that when you wake up, cuando te levantas, and you don't have your breakfast or your coffee, you feel like really la, 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 like, uh, like angry, like upset. Well, that's my case. When I wake up, cuando me levanto, when I wake up, I need, I need coffee and breakfast. And after that, I am an angel. Pues soy una alma de Dios. But before that, I am like a different person, definitely. I don't know if it, it happens to you, but well, I guess maybe some of you. Okay, um, we go now with Steffi and Evelyn. Hungry. Hungry. Pobrecita Steffi. Bueno, ya te vas a echar la cena, campero, ¿ok? Hungry Evelyn and Durán. Worried. Worried. Oh, ok, está preocupada. Ok, maybe. Sometimes we feel worried because of some obligations at home, economic part, maybe tasks, uh, algunas tareas o cosas que tenemos que hacer, tasks, a, a, a job, ok? There are different forms or different causes of how we feel worried. Thank you. Uh, we go with Duran and Luis. Duran. You? Thirsty. Thirsty. Sediento. I know it's Friday. It's Friday, 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 Friday. But relax. Relax. <laughs> you have to finish the class. And after the class, you can drink whatever you want. Okay? Yes. That's it. First, water. And after water. Y se lo estoy diciendo también, Carito. After you drink water, you can drink whatever you want. Actually, you can drink whatever. Okay, it's good. I look into that question. Nice, we have Luis. Okay, Luis. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I am sleepy. You feel sleepy, okay, por cuatro. We feel like mm -hmm. we are like more than four. Okay, saludos a Mari que se apareció ahí. Gusto de verte, Mari. Okay, nice to see you. I'm glad to see you again. Okay, good. Yes, okay, we feel like kind of sleepy and, well, but it's Friday, come on, guys, it's Friday, even we we have to work on Thursday, I mean, tomorrow, 
it's Friday, okay, maybe. You can finish your work at 12 or at four, but then you are free, están libres, solteros, come on. So um, here we have different moods, diferentes, uh, uh, como no, formas de cómo nos sentimos emocionalmente. Okay, so that's it. And um, yesterday we didn't finish uh, two activities, right? So we're going to finish them tonight. The topic of this class is how to use should and should not. Acuérdense, should, como cuando es tornuda, pero no should, sino que should. Should and should not. Don't say should, okay? So here we have should, and you can say shouldn't or should not. Es como cuando decimos, aquí se pronuncia could or couldn't, okay? So that's it, couldn't. Uh, it's like in this case, y necesito que lo pronunciamos así, okay? No me van a decir could, could not teacher. Okay, so that's it. Uh, here we have should, shouldn't, could, couldn't. That's really, really important because we're going to, well, we're having some exercises tonight and I need you to pronounce uh, these words correctly. Okay, so that's it. Should, shouldn't, could, couldn't. Okay, can you see we are on class 12? Clase 12. That's really nice. I like it. Okay. So we are about to finish. Ya estamos cerca de terminar. Como me dijo Nax. But we are going to finish this course. Vamos a terminar este curso. So that's really, really good. And let's continue with this, my friends. And here we have, ah, mom. Let's see. Here we have a uh, worksheet. Worksheet, no con E, es con E, porque si dicen con E, es, you are saying some other things, están diciendo otras cosas, okay? So, worksheet, okay, look, look at this. Shit con E significa página, okay? Shit, shit. If you pronounce it with letter E, I mean, si lo pronuncian con la letra E, E significa otra cosa, okay? Shit, shit, página, no problem. Si lo pronuncian en lugar de la letra... No, no lo voy a escribir. I'm not going to write that. No voy a escribir eso, but uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so be careful. Es como esta palabra. Bitch, bitch. ¿Verdad? Si tenemos esta con la T, it sounds different. Okay. Entonces, bitch, no hay problema. Pero si antes de la... De la CH le ponen la T, ya significa otra cosa, ¿ok? Ustedes pueden decirle a alguien que, o una amiga que a ustedes no les parece tan buena, ¿no? ¿ok? So that's it. Um, could you tell me how much it costs? Esta es cuesta después de la T, normal, ¿ok? Ahora que estoy hablando sobre las T, después vamos a ver un tema que ayer estuvimos hablando con eh, Luis sobre los regular y irregular, ¿ok? So uh, I need you to. Select one of the questions, uh, um, uh, one of the answers that you consider it applies for different questions. Okay, veamos qué respuesta puede adaptarse. Okay, uh, here we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, Nina. Antes que se me cierre la voz, teacher. Could you tell me how much is cost? That model is one hundred. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, that model is 100. Could you tell me how much it costs? Cuánto cuesta? Okay. Uh -huh. so, ah, that model is 100. You can yeah. talk about tablets, about cell phones, about, yeah, a lot of things, Whatever. right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Really good, Nina. You're welcome. Um, what about some others? We have three, four, and five. I have more questions, so I'm pretty sure that Almost all of you are going to participate. So, come on. Carito. Yes, Carito. Tell us. Okay. Uh, second, could I, use, could I use your phone? Of yes. course. Dial a night to get an outside line. Okay. Yes. 
Of course, dial marca. <coughs> of course, dial nine to get an outside line. Okay, that's it. But it applies to the past cell phones. Aplica para los celulares más viejitos, verdad? Como, ah, you know. But that that is the correct answers, carito. Okay, me recordas mi juventud. Okay, what about three and four? Any other volunteers? Okay, Oscar. What's yours? Three or four? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Paul. I have some information. Uh -huh. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool excuse information. Me. Yes, nice. If you notice, there is a comma, so there is a pause. Okay, excuse me. Could I have some information? And what is the answer, Oscar? Two, uh, zero, one, two, one, uh, six, five, eight, twenty-six, five, nine. Okay, thirty-six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, discúlpame, ¿puedo obtener alguna información? ¿Puedes darme alguna información? Are you sure these numbers are the correct answer? I guess it's not. Creo que no es la no, respuesta no. correcta. Okay. What could it be? ¿Qué respuesta podría ser? One, two, or three. One or three. One or three. One. One. Okay. It says. Uh, um. Sorry, Mardo was typing. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll try to speak louder. Disculpe, ¿me puedo tener alguna información? Lo siento. Intentaré hablar más fuerte. No, I guess no, no, no. no. The answer is yes. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. How can I help you? What yeah. do you want to know? What do you want to know? So the correct answer is, uh, ¿puedo tener alguna información? Yes. How can I help you? What do you want to know? Y eso pasa, okay, Wendy, in a moment. Y esto pasa normalmente, that normally happens when you are uh, talking by phone to a call center. Um, they use, they normally say, thank you for calling English Corporative Company. How can I help you? What can I do for you? And that's like a cliche. It's like a very, very common question that they ask. Okay, so that's it. Uh, Wendy, tell me, four, right? Yes, could you sell me confirmation? Okay. Of course, I'll do it now. You'll get in the post tomorrow. Okay, of course, mm -hmm. I'll do now. Yes, that's it. Uh, okay, perfect. I know that some of the, thank you, Wendy. I know that some of these um, options are kind of tricky because we get confused, but we should get, or we have to focus on what they need. Que necesitan saber de la pregunta. Okay, so that's the point. You have to focus on that. Okay, uh, here we have one, two, three, and four. Some other participants? Can I speak to Mr. Mr. Dupont, please? Can I leave him a message? Um, could you give me your number, please? Could I have a receipt, please? Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, yeah. Num number two. Okay. And can I leave him a message? And sorry, I am almost to be. I post uh, in a few minutes. Minute. Okay, puedo dejarle un mensaje. Lo siento, estoy uh, off of the airport a few minutes. Soy como pues lejos del de aeropuerto unos pocos minutos. Mm, I guess no, Luis. What about one mm -hmm. or three? What's your, what do you think it is? What could it be? Um, number one, centrally, could you Certainly, want a ciertamente, certainly. Mm -hmm. Could you I wait a moment while I get a pen and a paper? Okay. Okay. 
Ok, uh, certainly. Ok. ¿Te puedo dejar un mensaje? Ok, puedo, solo déjame tomar eh, la pizarra y papel. Ok, thank you. Carito. Si no hay más voluntarios. Yo. I'm sorry, okay. Carito. Ok. Oh, I'm sorry, me perdí. Me perdí en ese momento. What's going on? <laughs> No, que yo levanté la mano, pero pregunto, si no hay más voluntarios, pues yo participo, Bien. pero ya va a participar Kenia. So, ok, Kenia, and then you, Carito, please. Ok, Kenia. Can I speak to Mr. Dupont, please? Yep. Uh, yes, of course, we can start again tomorrow. Ok, sí, por supuesto, podemos comenzar de nuevo um, mañana. Mm. No, no, no. Entonces es la tercera. Ok, certainly. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto y esto? How, how's calling? Uh -huh. Who's, who's. Uh -huh. Who's, ah, perdón. Who, who's okay. calling? Ese de certainly es también esta palabrita bien rara, ok. Digamos que así se pronuncia. Certainly, certainly. No, certainly, certainly. Yes, certainly, certainly. Ok, thank you, Kenya. Very nice. Um, recordemos, remember that the words have stress maybe at the beginning of the word. Las palabras normalmente tienen en inglés el, el acento al inicio o en medio. Rara vez en inglés tienen al final, a menos que sean algunos verbos. But certainly. Luego tenemos who, who. Eh, no sé si se acuerdan de una canción que es Who let the dog out? Who let the dog out? Who let the dog out? Y decían who, who, who. So, ese, no sé, escuchen esa canción cuando puedan, algún día antes de morir. So, who, it's like the correct pronunciation of this, okay? Calling, calling, okay. And here we have Carito. Yep. Okay, the last one. Would I have a receipt, receipt, please? Of course. Do you want the VAT separated? Okay. Do you want the VAT separated? Nice. This is not received. Thank you, Carito. Perfect. Evelyn, uh, three, right? Could you give me? Could you give me your number, please? Okay. Yes, I give one. Zero one twenty one six eight five, six, five eight three three six five. Okay, thank you. And I will tell you something. Casi, casi, Evelyn. Recuerden que las palabras, que las preguntas con would en 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 could no se responden con, no yes. con yes. Se responden uh -huh. de un solo con la eh, valga la redundancia, se, se contestan de un solo con información. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál number sería entonces? One. Yeah, number, number one. one. Uh -huh. Zero, one, two, one, yes. Sé que cuestan porque los números son un tanto extensos. ¿Ok? So, zero, one, o podemos decir, oh, one. Uh -huh. So, one, six, uh, five, eight, three, six, five, nine. Perfect. That's it. And we're about to finish. Ya vamos a terminar esta actividad. Bueno, ni tanto, pero Okay, let's say I'm going to pick in this case to Claudia. Okay, Claudia, take your time. And then uh, we have Steffi. Okay, que tiene una bolita morada. Okay, Claudia and Steffi. Come on. Uh, uh, number one. Number one. Cool, cool I have a glass. Uh -huh. Cool, I have a glass of water, please. Yeah. Eh, la número Evian. Evian. Yes. O Evian, no sé. Evian. Yes, thank you. Evian. Yes, thank yes. you. And here we have uh, Carito, uh, Carito, Steffi, and then here we have Edwin. Okay, creo que no te escuchamos, Steffi. Sorry. 
si no después te voy a te voy a dar otras preguntas ok porque te escucho bien lejos ok ok no problem later después Steffi ok thank you Edwin and then we go with Gabriel ok Edwin yep Okay, if Edwin is not ready, uh, Gabriel, and then we go hey. with Duran. Uh huh. My number. Could, could you call me back? Could you call me back? Uh huh. I'm sorry, I am opening the iPhone in a few minutes. Yes, good. Thank you. Okay, and we go now with who? Okay, Duran, right? And Yvette. Let's try. Right. Ya casi terminamos. Okay, if Duran is not ready, let's go with Yvette and then Wilfredo. Please, let's try. Yo, teacher? Yes. Okay. Um, digamos, um, may I smoking here? Um, sería, I don't like smoking. Ok, casi, porque te pregunta, ¿puedo fumar aquí? Ok. Ah, ok, sí, ah, entonces es, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you can't, you can't smoke in the building. Definitely. Ok, and we finish with Wilfredo. Could you? Could you get use some coffee, please? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, sorry, but here is is an any. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to continue with them. The yes, well, the past uh, activity. Do you have unhealthy habits? Which one? No tuvimos la participación ni de Claudia ni de Wilfredo ni de Luis, si no me equivoco. Uh, I don't know if I'm sure. Sí, teacher, yo falté también. Uh, okay, Luis. ¿Qué haces mal? Decime tus pecados. Tell me your sins. Okay, teacher. Uh... Uh, one of my unhealthy habits is a uh, put a lot of sugar and drinks, for example, uh, to refreshment to me, uh, sometime coffee. Okay, how many like this question? How many spoons? Cuántas cucharadas? How many spoons? <laughs> like three, four? That that's three. like three. three. Come on, yes. three. But three. <laughs> me imagino que pequeñas no sopera, right? Like, like small. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, there are, for example, there are some people who don't like sugar in their coffee. No le gusta azúcar en el café. Definitely, no sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there are some yeah. others like you who like a lot. Okay, thank you. Sí, yo conozco uh, gente de que no, que no le, que no le gusta azúcar en el café. Yeah, Pero se lo acompañan it. con una galleta dulce. Entonces oh, ahí well, como, that's like kind of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like a balance, like this, right? But I Así. guess, eh, creo que la, 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 el café sin azúcar podría ser para hangover. You know what hangover is like when you were drinking a lot of alcohol at night and next day you are with a headache and you can't morir el siguiente día. La moza goma. So that's it. Good. Okay. Um, let's see. We go with Claudia and Wilfredo. Um... My only habit is playing soccer and drinking coffee. <laughs> playing soccer? Or football? Uh -huh. sí. Okay, but that's not yes. unhealthy. Eso es healthy. Es saludable jugar un todo deporte. O every sport is healthy. But yeah, maybe <laughs> a drinking coffee is unhealthy. Okay, thank you. And Wilfredo, please. I have an ultra habit and write a little, little of cookies every day. 
Okay, good. Unhealthy, unhealthy. Okay, nice, my friends. Uh, we're going to this um, interesting and funny question. This es como, um, como preguntas curiosas, curious and funny questions. Mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador, okay? Lo mejor y lo peor del Salvador. Yes, yes, we have this. Solo quiero explicar an, algo antes de ir a las, a las, ¿qué? a las opiniones. Good es el adjetivo básico. Better than es el adjetivo comparativo. The best es el adjetivo super, superlativo. Good morning. And that's good. How do you feel? I'm good. Better. Cuando usted dice que es mejor. Por ejemplo, Barcelona is better than Real Madrid or Real Madrid is better than Barcelona. Yes. Bueno, lo que le gusta el Barça, punto extra. Okay. So in the case, um, corn pupusas are better than rice pupusas. Las pupusas de maíz son mejores que las de arroz. Okay. So that's another example. Um, horchata is better than chan drinks and all those things, okay. Entonces tenemos the best. Ahora, con respecto a bad, tenemos bad, como la canción de Michael Jackson, bad. Eh, tenemos worse, okay. And the other is, uh, sorry, worse than. And the worse, okay. Entonces, malo, peor que, y lo, lo último es lo peor, the worse. Es superlativo. Estos adjetivos son un tanto... ¿Se recuerdan aquellos adjetivos que le agregamos? Por ejemplo, uh, tenemos big, bigger, y el otro es de... Es bueno, biggest. Y el otro es... Popular. More popular, the most popular. Ajá. Entonces, estos son diferentes, ¿verdad? Porque se agrega ER y aquí more. En cambio, esos son diferentes. Es necesario, pues, memorizarlos. Ok, my friends, I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi or hello if you listen to your name. We start with Carlos. Ok, Carlos. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nice. Uh, Pinto, we don't have Pinto. Carito. Hello, teacher. There, Edwin. Present. Okay, good. Steffi. Creo que está por ahí. Está una disco de Steffi. Dale, Steffi. Um, Evelyn. I'm here, teacher. You're there. Gabriel. Present, teacher. Nice. Um, Duran. Present teacher. Good. Here we have Yvette. Present teacher. Okay. Kenya. Present teacher. Good. Luis. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Mardo is, in, is on his way. Oscar. Present teacher. Nina. Antes que se te cierre la garganta, present, Nina. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia and Gwen. Present oh, teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, in this case, we're going to start with Carito. Okay, Carito. Tell us. Okay, teacher. The best thing about El Salvador, I, in my opinion, is that the beach is closed and you can go to different places in the same day. The worst well. thing is the insecurity that the country lives. Okay. Even to be to be a small country, it has advantages. Advantages. For example, as Carito say, uh, as Carito said, you can go to the volcano, Boqueron Volcano, you can go to the Tunco. And you can go to Planes de Renderos in the same day, el mismo día. 
right? Yeah, but same. for example, you can you can go to have breakfast in El Boqueron. You can get lunch in the beach, and you can get dinner in the restaurant de renderos in the same day. So that the I same like. day. I really oh. like that. Of course, it is kind of tired, cansadito, but you can do it. In some other places, you, you have to drive like 12 hours or one complete day or more than one day. You, you know, for example, in Colombia, if you want to go to the beach, for example, Cartagena is like in, in a bus, like 18 hours. And when I when with my family in car just like three days because you have to stop, stop to eat, in some places to, sleep, to eat yeah. to sleep and you have and to you need a lot of money money for, for gasoline and years for of vacation yes so oh. here i really like that yes the, actually it is true uh, i know people from mexico who don't know um the beach Ellos no conocen beach, la playa, no otras cosas, ¿ok? So they don't know the beach, no conocen la playa. They have never gone to the beach. Imagínense. It's the, it's the same situation in Colombia. There in is Colombia. a lot of people that, that don't of, know the, the, the thing. Ok, a lot of people who don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, that's it. But in El Salvador, we can go to different places in the same day. That's something really, really good. Yo sé que te gusta por eso, Salvador, carita. Por eso. But unfortunately, on the other hand, we have disadvantages that is insecurity, right? Yes. We have gang members, we have thieves. Okay. And all those uh, things, right? Thieves, ladrones. Okay. Cuando decimos thieves, um, eh, nos referimos a uh, los ladrones uh, the person who has a person who has a knife una persona que tiene un cuchillo por ejemplo y te roba but the robbers robbers no son los robertos no robbers are thieves that take your objects and you don't notice it toman tus cosas y no te das cuenta los famosos manos suaves manita de ángel so you don't notice and when you, you want to take your money or your wallet, you don't have it. Your cell phone disappeared. So that usually happens, especially, sí, dice Kenia. En el pasado ya fue, era. No, solo. ese me pasó. Ni sentí que me quitaron. ¿Tú robaste o te robaron? I don't know. Me robaron. Ah, okay. Well, yes. Bueno, a veces uno tiene un pasado un poco. Okay, Kenia. Yes, especially when we go on public transportation, that's really, really common. I know an oldie, well, uh, a granny. When we say granny, uh, una como viejita. We have a granny. And she used to take things uh, if you were close to. A veces, sometimes you were uh, standing on the, on, the, on the bus, estaban parado. And she asked you, okay, can I help you? ¿Puedo ayudar? ¿Te debo las cosas? And you, you used to give your, your what? Your backpack, le dabas la mochila y todo. When you get off of the bus, you notice that there are some things that you don't have. Y ahí te, te abría la mochila, okay? Y suavecito, te iba platicando, ah, mijito, ¿cómo te ha ido el día? And you, wow, okay. You were telling your love story, le cuentas la historia de amor y le pedís consejos, but your cell phone, your money, okay, all, all things, goodbye, bye-bye, yeah. Justin and Salvador. Ok, thank you, Garito. Ya ven cómo nos estamos desahogando. Esto es terapéutico. Ok, um, definitely, here we have Garito. Kenia, háblanos de tu pasado. Ok, Kenia, tell us. De mi pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, then Wendy. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. You need time. Espérame, teacher, que se tenga problemas aquí con la laptop. Así me pasó ayer y antier. I understand that. I me feel really stressed. Me, me estresé mucho. Ya. Yeah. Sí, estoy teniendo. Bueno, después le digo porque okay. tengo problemas. Relax. Uh, we're going with Wendy and Nina. 
Wendy. Okay, teacher. The best thing things about El Salvador are many more. It's full, pupusas, tamales, nuegas, yuca frita, and many more. Awesome that is is a, a small country a lot used to be fast on the uh, on the beach or the mountain. It is a wild country in case people we are one of the largest producers of sugar cane and coffee. Okay, okay. I didn't listen very well. Producers of what? I'm sorry. Producer of sugar cane ah, and okay. coffee. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's something really good from Salvador. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And definitely. The, yeah. uh -huh. Go, go. In the worst things about our country, and then the unfortunately have is a violence. I'm sorry? Violence. Uh, violence. Uh -huh. Yes, Mara, yes. Gangs. Uh, uh, it is expensive to lie in your country. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there, there are some things that, that are actually expensive. Yeah. Um, the horrible traffic. Oh, traffic jam. Traffic jam. There are no per jam. jam. Oh, my wonderful. <laughs> no, traffic jam, definitely. There are specific <laughs> traffic jams in Salvador who are so desperate. Son desesperados, de es desesperante, desperating, es desesperante. But there are some traffic jams that are kind of, oh, okay, can wait. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, good, good, good uh, point that you mentioned. Kenya and after Kenya, we're going with Gabriel. Okay, teacher. The best thing about our country are its fishes. Beaches sería playas. Uh, beaches. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Beaches eat. <laughs> Lo otro iba a escribir. Okay. Yeah. Beaches. 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 Beach. Así. Como bicho, pero beaches. Beaches. Okay. Yeah, beaches. Okay. It's beaches. It's tradition. Uh, it's children's places. Okay. The, ah. The worst thing about our country is inse insecurity and the economy. Oh, yes, definitely. Like the basic salary, the basic salary is too low. It's too low for the needs we as Salvadorian have. Imagine the bills. Solo imagínense las cuentas, los recibos. Yeah, imagine electricity and all those things. And yeah, well, yes, we have lack. Cuando anoten esta palabra, lack significa carencia. Cuando ustedes quieran decir falta de algo, lack of uh, jobs. Lack of, cuando ustedes quieran decir la carencia de, lack of security, carencia de seguridad. Si lo quieren decir, lack of, esta palabra es la vieja confiable. Falta de o carencia de. Okay, lack. Yeah, lack of jobs uh, or unemployment. I mean, tenemos desempleo, pero lack of sounds really good. Yep. Um, talking about tourism, again, tourism, tourism places, we have some really beautiful places that are not so known, no son tan conocidos, están como escondiditos. Um, it's especially like forests, some rivers, some waterfalls, okay? Cascadas, rios, rivers, waterfalls, really good ones. I know a couple of them. Thank you, Kenya. And we finish with Gabriel because we have to continue with the class. Okay, Gabriel, you go. Okay. The of the Salvador is me. You I have a good you safety. Okay, Gabriel. And, yes, go. Uh, and the world of the Salvador Nayib Bukele. Okay. I no. don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You 
Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, uh, right, serious. Right, serious. Okay. Be the best in, the best in El Salvador. Salvadoran cloud, you do not collapse. Mm -hmm. We are fibers. We always go, go forward. Okay. The world is the culture. Culture. Sí, cultura, sí. Culture. Yes. You see people, John, garbage in the street and insecurity. Okay, good point. We have people, uh, yep. This big, big business for government is the, is the ugliest thing in El Salvador. Okay, thanks for your opinions, Gabriel. Yes, we are definitely, we have a lot of problems with different projects, governments and all those things, good. And talking about some specific words, homeless is people who live on streets. La gente que vive en las calles, okay? Homeless son lo, los, las personas que no tienen hogar, okay? Indigentes and all this, okay? Entonces, cuando vean la palabra less, significa lo que no tienen o lo opuesto, ¿verdad? Homeless, hogar, less, sin, sin hogar. Y eso aplica para muchas palabras. Okay, thanks for all your answers. I guess they are uh, really interesting. But now we go with this. Okay. Remember, should, should, okay. Uh, what is going on with this thing? Okay, should, okay. Recuerden que esto es talk, como TikTok, okay, no talk. Ni talk, talk es como talk, right? No, mentira, but talk, talk, okay? Um, esta palabra me gusta mucho. ¿Cómo es, Carito? Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. And here we have polite. Y esto que se pronuncia either, either, either. Okay? Um, Esto es instead. Instead, por si no lo saben, significa en vez de o en lugar. Instead of. You can say. Oh. En lugar de. Instead of. Instead of. Cuando vean instead, significa en lugar de. Right. So the third. I will need some of your pronunciation. So for this, I will need um, Evelyn and I will need Luis. Okay, Luis, you are Raul. Como dicen los gatos en la noche, Raul. And Evelyn, you're going to be Cloud. Okay. okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted. To his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolute, absolutely. Uh, there is not pol polite. He should answer his messenger after the meeting, and we should not talk about him that not polite yes. in there. Either. Agree. Agree. Uh, we should help him. Help him instead. In, instead. Thank you. Really good. So um, let's see. I can be always addicted. Addicted. Okay. Ya vamos a hacer un repaso de esta palabra. Okay. okay. Addicted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. So the third. Um, does anybody know the specific point of this conversation? El punto específico de esta conversación. Uh -huh. Hay una frase. No busquemos ideas extrañas. Busquemos frases que ya están uh, aquí en la conversación. Some phrases or lines. Adicción al teléfono. Okay. Addicted. Could it be? 
like a keyword, puede ser una, ok. Cuando digo keyword, es palabra clave, yes. Like model education. I'm sorry. Like model, for example, edu education. Ok, education. Modal okay. is the, uh, the word para referirse como modales, buena conducta, algo así. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, like yes. That. Ok. Behavior es conducta. Sugiero que anoten esta palabra. Son de esas palabras que uno no haya como, y a veces la necesitas. Behavior. Así se pronuncia. Behavior. Behavior. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's it. Behavior. And yeah, actually I consider that un punto bien importante es esto esta horrible esta cosa ok you're right he should not chat in the meeting eso es como el conflicto that's something that Raúl doesn't like he hates it lo odia odia eso you're right he should not chat in the meeting ok and Claudia feels uh, like really bad about it. I can't believe it. No puedo creerlo. Robert is addicted to his phone, blah, blah, blah. Something that happens and specifically with kids sometimes. Or when you get Netflix for the first time. Cuando consiguen Netflix por, la, por primera vez, everybody gets addicted. Todos se ponen adictos, aunque sea un pa, unos días, unas semanas. And after that, it's like normal and you see some serious movies, but relaxed. But at, at the beginning, al inicio, you spend a lot of time watching this. Okay, so here we go uh, again. And I need, um, let's see. Please help me with this, Carito, and help me, Oscar. Okay, Carito, you are Claudia, and Oscar, you are Raul. Again. Okay, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Uh, you're right. He uh, should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. This is not polite. I should answer the, his message uh, after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Thank you. Really good. So, like, when this word, anota esto, Oscar. Either, either, either. Okay, either. So that's it. Um, let's uh, continue with uh, some activities. Ya estamos a la mitad de la clase. So here we have this behavior. Ah, aquí está la palabra. Sin querer, aquí está. Uh, yes. Could you help me, Wendy, reading this, please? I will show you this. Uh, yeah, please. Behavior. Behavior. The why does someone act, act in different situations? The company expects polite behavior from all the employers. Employees. Employees. To thank you. No, thank you. Solo, la que, te most, solo la que señale. Okay. okay. So okay. that's the way, la forma, the way someone, someone acts, la manera que ustedes actúan. So behavior from all employees. Of course, the, the company expects that. Good behavior from you, from, from us, from the employees. No a esperar relajo, ni que traten mal a las demás personas, ni los clientes, okay? Okay, we continue with Wilfredo, number two, interrupting. Interrupting other People, when they speak, is not a good Bible. Behavior. 
behavior. Behavior. Mm -hmm. Behavior. Ok. Eh, el verbo behave es comportarse. Behavior, comportamiento o conducta. Ok. So that's it. Behave, 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 comportarse. Behavior, comportamiento. Ok. So that's it. And we go here with the other person. Okay, um, let's listen to Yvette. Number three. Okay. Gossiping about who walker is road. Be behavior. Okay, behavior, behavior. Yes, behavior. gossiping, gossiping, it is a... Uh, and a, a situation that every company has, el chambre, chambrear. That's something that in you can find it. Well, actually, it is something in, like part of Salvadorian. Parte de los Salvadorians, right? Yes, gossiping. Well, um, let's see. Here we have this. I need Kenya and then Carlos. Kenya number one, Carlos number two. What are some... Okay, teacher. What are some polite polite be behavior you speak from your co co workers. workers? Okay, co -workers. Eh, anota esto que ni polite y behaviors, ¿verdad? Polite, conté polite behaviors. Polite. Yes, ajá, expect, expect significa esperas. ¿Cuáles son algunas conductas amables que tú esperas de tus compañeros de trabajo, coworkers? Ok, ya vamos a contestar esta. Eh, Número tú, Carlos. Esto se dice rude, rude. Rude. What are some rude behavior your coworker are not expect, expect? To Ex expected, expected. Expected, okay. Okay, to do expected, ¿verdad? Okay, two questions. I need you to answer or to tell me one. Necesito que me contesten una, la que ustedes quieran. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? ¿Cuáles son las conductas amables que esperas de tus compañeros de trabajo? And number two. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las conductas no solamente rudas, sino que incómodas, eh, no amables, que esperas que tus compañeros no hagan, no hagan? Lo que sí esperas que la compañía, lo que, lo que esperan, ¿verdad? Que lo verde trabajado y lo que no esperan. Ok, answer one and I'm going to give you like two times. Yeah, two minutes, I'm sorry. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que contesten eso. Okay. One or two. And I'm going to ask you in a moment, okay? Okay, volunteers for answering uh, this question. Question one or question two, okay? Who goes first? Okay, Carito, go. One or two? Both. Okay, please. 
Uh, for example, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers yep. to greet? Greet? Like say hello. Uh, greeting or greet. Greeting. Yeah, greet. <clears throat> okay. And the other, what are some rude behavior you coworkers are not expected to do? Speaking of you or your work. Okay. Okay. Uh, speak. Yeah. No work. Uh, I, I mean, bad, right? Badly, uh, negatively. Badly, yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm because to... it is good when people say, "Wow, um, my my coworker, my boss, my supervisor is a really good professional." Okay, uh, like he he's a, a good, yeah, a, a good employee, a good colleague. But when they say, mm, "Come on, have you noticed the reports? Have you noticed the way that the supervisor, my coworkers, are doing their job?" It's like not so good. Thank you, Carito. Now let's go with Wendy and then we go with Oscar. Wendy, ready? One or two? One teacher. Okay, please. Um, I have to get good communication from my co 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 workers co or colleagues. Co mm -hmm. Colleagues, co workers. And, and co good communication is so important for family, for friendship, for love, or whatever. Todo lo que quieran en esta vida. Si no tienen buena comunicación, that's going to be down. Todo se va a ir para abajo. Believe me, créanme. So that's it. Thank you, Wendy. And we go with Oscar and then Wilfredo. Uh, teacher, uh, uh, what are some polite behavior you expect from your co worker? Yep. Is the more uh, serious? Um, more education. Okay, education. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Wilfredo and Gabriel. It's a collaboration. Oh, good. Yes, uh, like collaboration. Good one. Another. Thank you, Gabriel and Luis. Oh, uh, how initiative, 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 yes, e and fellow, and fellow, fellowship, 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 companionismo, yes. fellowship, okay, fellowship, yes, uh, we go with, um, Luis, two teacher, okay, two, go, uh, I spend with the phone is necessary. I'm sorry? I spend with the phone is necessary. Okay. Yes. Okay. Spending time. Spending time, especially with cell phone, right? Yes. Oh, spending time. También se le puede llamar a esto wasting. Waste. Porque spend. Puede ser pasar el tiempo en el teléfono, pero waste es desperdiciar el tiempo. That's really, but that's the point. Yes. Nowadays, it, well, it is different from another years, right? Okay, we go with Carlos and Yvette. Carlos, are you ready? Sí, teacher. Go. Co be cooperative. Cooperative. Cooperative, yes, yeah, that okay. yes, so, so necessary. Okay, we go with Yvette and Kenya. Okay, question one. Mm -hmm. Um, please. Um, empathy. Ah, nice empathy. Um, and teamwork. Huh? Mm -hmm. I. Tantas personas, there are so much people who don't know how to work in teams. Mucha gente que no sabe trabajar en equipo. A lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. Kenya, and after Kenya, we go with uh, Evelyn. Okay. That's uh, number one. Yep. That they are very 
respect to and uh, responsible. Okay. Respectful and responsible. Thank you. And uh, we we'll go with Evelyn and Nina. Um, responsible with the with the coworker. Yes. Okay. And and friendly. Yes. Uh, with the functions. Okay. You have specific functions at work, so you have to be responsible of what you have to do. Thank you. And friendly. Good. Thank you. And we go with Nina and then Claudia. Okay. Um, gentle people. And Good. Uh, did you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Of course. Uh, gentle people. Uh, co work. Okay. And the other, and uh, rule behavior. Um, okay. Don't, uh, in the place that people know the communication together. I don't know what you call. Good communication. Yep. Could it be? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Nina. <clears throat> uh, Nina mentioned gently, that is uh, amable. Uh, en las películas siempre sale ladies and gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen. Es como caballeroso, ok? Gently es ser amable, caballeroso, ok? Por eso es gentleman, gently, gentleman, ok? Good. And we go with who? Claudia, right? Uh, what are some polite um, communication and um, respeto? Respect, okay. respect, uh -huh. ok? Thank uh -huh. you, respect. my friends. Thank you for your answers. Let's go to the listening part, okay? So be ready with your pen, pencil, so you can write the words, phrases, ideas you can hear, okay? I'm going to prepare the audio, just give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I have some difficulties, but now I have the audio. Okay, so be ready, and then I'm going to ask. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. 
Nice. Let's listen again. Esa cara me gusta ver. Okay, go. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday and card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay. Ajá, ¿qué tal es tú? Poquito rápido, normal. Un poquito, well. Too fast. Too fast, pero ese, de eso se trata, de, de ponerle sabor a la vida, right? Es viernes, come on. Okay. Words, ideas, phrases, reclamos, complaints. Carolina, Carolina. En Wendy. Mi niña. Okay. Hi, it's me. How is it going? Thanks, massage and organizing little birthday, my cousin house, swimming pool, instructions anyway. Talk soon. This morning, I'd like to see there. Hmm. Hmm. Good. You said, you said that was fast, but you got a lot of words. I thought that was possible. Okay. Wendy Cantaderio. And then Nina. Okay. Uh, work, going, this morning, beer day, free day. Anyway, thank you. Message, little party, friends, country. See you there. Perfect. ¿Dónde? Nina, ¿todavía no se te cierra la garganta? Mira, Nina, estás aguantando. Ok. I'm trying, I'm trying. Ok, try. Ok. Uh, hi, it's me. Thank you. I organ organized a little party for my bride. It's not big, very big. It's for close friends like you and swimming pool. Uh, that's it. Good, a party. Nice, parties are okay. Necessary for life. Thank you. And um, do we have some other volunteers who have words? Uh, okay, Carlos and Oscar, go. Okay. Hi, friend, because money, okay, love, in country, in Friday. Good one. Well. Thank you. Nice, Friday, specific information. Oscar, your turn. Okay, uh, hi, it's me. Uh, thank you, message, little party on baby, country, uh, Friday, inclusion. There soon we going, morning organization, uh, free day, anyway. Okay, good one. Well. Thank you. Thank you for all your answers. Están diciendo que está rápido y captaron varias palabras. So, it means, significa dos cosas. O tiene superpoderes, o estamos aprendiendo más. O ambas, quizás. Perfect. You know what? The, the pronunciation was very, very good, but speak a lot of fat. So, in my case, for example, I, I can write very very fast so fast so fast so fast exactly and sometimes you know what happened i don't understand my letter really y eso que pasa que bárbara disgrafía se llama no yes. come on no, come on come on uh, the thing is that remember the objective of the listening uh, activities it is not that you have to take notes of all the words or the, the things that you listen but the main words, the main things like uh, keywords, las palabras clave pueden, de todas las que escriben, pueden eh, que captar ciertas palabras. For example, ¿cuáles creen que son las palabras claves hasta el momento? 
¿Qué le dice su sexto sentido? Party, busy fiesta. Party, yo sé que ya quieren fiesta. I know, carita, relax. Ok, party, that's one. What's another? Digamos tres o cuatro. Party is one. Ese definitivamente. What about the other? Uh, organization. Organization. Nice. Ok. Una más. No more tears. What day? What day? Oh, What day? Friday. Uh, hmm? Friday. Right. Sí. Eh, son eh, información específica. Ok, I like it. I, uh, this uh, girl has a really good pronunciation. I like it a lot. And uh, in my opinion, she has like one of the best pronunciation that I have I have heard because of, you can understand. Siento que tiene buena pronunciación porque le entiendes. Hay gente que pronuncia rápido, pero no le entiendes también, pero ella habla un tanto claro. Igual que la otra, el otro audio que les he puesto de, 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 de otra compañera. Really good pronunciation. Entonces, de eso se trata, ¿verdad? Hay gente, there are a lot of people who try to speak fast. Pero no se trata de hablarlo rápido, sino llevas el mensaje, la idea. Cuando te capta mucha gente es porque tu pronunciación es muy rápida. Porque hay gente que habla y ni mueve mucho los labios. Entonces, no se trata de eso, se trata de que si te captan. Ok, let's listen again and check uh, the, the text as well. Ok, here we go. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday and card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay, one objective is that she speaks fast is because it is a recorded message. Es un mensaje. Entonces, un mensaje, usted no dice, oh, okay. Si no quieren un mensaje, cuando se deja o un audio, normalmente se habla conciso, ¿verdad? Porque esos autos de dos, tres minutos son para cuando ustedes están pidiendo otra oportunidad. But, in this case, she's just saying the, what, the most important information, right? That's it. Entonces, um, how is it going? Se dan cuenta que esta palabra ya la hemos visto, right? How is it going? Uh, guess, supongo. Entonces, quiero que veamos esto. Aquí hay adjetivos superlativos. My best and my closest friends. ¿Ok? ¿Qué creen que significa? Best, ya sabemos, right? Close es cercano, pero closest, uh -huh. ¿en el días? El más cercano, o el amigo uh -huh. más cercano. El más cercano, la más cercana, o los más cercanos. <risa> ya ven por qué es más importante, es importante saber los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Closest, los más cercanos. So, it is for few people. Es para pocas personas, right? A little party, ¿ok? Nothing very big, nada tan grande, nada que sea muy, muy escandaloso, grande, ¿ok? So the chat, eh, esta palabra means, eso significa, that means you too, significa que tú también, ¿ok? Por eso lo está incluyendo. Bueno, dice que va a ser eh, una, dice que va a ser una fiesta pequeña, pero miren, be a house, swimming pool, no me suena tan pequeño, but anyway, Uh, that's it, Friday, ese es keyword. ¿Se dan cuenta? No es necesario entenderlo todo, pero sí la palabra clave. Va a ser el viernes, o Friday, today, ahora. Ok, so that's it. Ok, easy peasy. Good. Eh, me, me, me alegra ver que me están captando cada vez más los audios que, que, que les pongo. Ah, I like that. I really, I'm really motivated for that. Oh, no, esta es otra. Hmm. Ah, no. ¿Qué es para mañana? Vamos a hablar del... Mañana es sábado, Tich. Mañana es sábado. Siempre voy con el mañana. Come on, teacher. Soy un hombre muy trabajador. 
I'm a worker person. No sé qué me pasa, gente. I don't know. Creo que me han hecho brujería. Ok. Um, si mention. No What? Sorry. Si no es el Zoom, es la memoria. No, pero el Zoom me estaba fallando. Y no el Zoom de mi teléfono, sino que es. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. Por eso, por eso le envié el video, se lo me acordé. Ah. <laughs> yes, pero les pasó también a ustedes con Zoom, no es mi culpa, no me estén echando la culpa. Uh, me estresé, me estresé estos últimos dos días. Hoy necesito a mí relax, ¿verdad? Ok, así que um, mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. And this is like a really curious question. Me gustan las preguntas, bueno, considero que son interesantes las preguntas que les envío porque son de su opinión. What's your opinion? No, it's not necessary that you have to Google. It's what you really think about it. So, um, in this case, Evelyn, and then we go with Steffi. Evelyn, your turn. Okay. Uh, I think the best of the El Salvador are the beaches and and the best 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 for me is a uh, Coatepeque Lake. Oh, definitely yes. Uh, and uh -huh. yes. Uh, yes. And the worst and the worst uh, uh, I I don't know. <laughs> Okay, maybe the crime or something that people have, you have not mentioned. Pollution. La contaminación. Ah, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We have pollution. Yes, well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but thank you. Yeah, um, basically, Coatepeque Lake is one of the most beautiful places here in El Salvador. Yep, I agree. And it turns in a different color, cambia de color, right? There is a specific time when it turns. So for yes. pictures, it's perfect. Okay, Nina, do you want to say something? Hello, Nina. Okay, maybe not. Um, yes, Nina. Hey. No, I, I need to go to the bathroom right now. Oh, please. yeah, for, for that. Go. Excuse me. Tengas, run, Forrest, run. Okay. Nice, Nina. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I can can you call Steffi? Steffi. Okay. Okay. The beds are the beaches, and the world is a public transport. Oh, yes. Public transportation is so bad, and sometimes. The bus is like really bad conditions, but the 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 sound system is too loud. Se pone un perreo intenso, el sonido fuerte, pero el, el bus está arruinando ya. Son tan relajo. Yeah. So that's it. Yes, yes, that's it. Public transportation. Okay, nice. Siempre está ahora carito conecta la compu. Ya me la puedo. Ok. Um, let's see who else. Luis. My friend Luis. And then Carlos. Ok, teacher. Um, the best uh, thing I'm in my country is delicious food. Typical dishes, for example, the pupusas, free and yuca, and about all eat hardworking people. Yeah. Um, the bad uh, is the insecurity and crime that we have in different place, places. Different places. Uh, yes, that's it. Unfortunately, we have. And talking about hardworking people. Um, once I went to Honduras in my times of hippie, in the time of the hippie, when I was like, playing some with my guitar and I used to travel around Central America. I went to Honduras and I noticed that there are most of uh, people from Honduras, they iron, ellos planchan, they iron, sit, planchan sentados. Uh, it's kind of 
yeah, right, interesting, porque la mayoría de acá casi no planchan sentados, sino que planchan parados, pero lavan sentados, they, they wash the dishes, the iron sets. And I went to different parks in Honduras, specifically in Copán. I recommend you that place. It's a beautiful place, Copán, Honduras. And in the park, there was no coffee, there was no typical food, nothing, nothing. No habían vendedores de nada. Here in El Salvador, there is a park, y hay casi de todo, right? Que sea panes mataniños, but you can find food, you can find some coffee, but in Honduras, it was kind of weird. Fue extraño wow. eso. So, eso es lo que dijo uh, Luis, me recordó hardworking. La gente aquí, people from El Salvador, se rebusca, se rebusca, se pone las pilas. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we go with Yvette. Okay, teacher. Uh, the best thing about my country is that the beaches are close. You can go to one in less than an hour. You can also visit the mountain and find very beautiful place, place in nature. Okay. Um, and the worst thing in crime and games also public transport and the indifference that some of us have regarding throwing garbage in the street or not taking in out at the time or day that the toilet trans passes yeah yeah uh, people here in Salvador throw garbage through the window of the cars of the public transportation. And that's really, really negative. And I have noticed that no, it is not just the kids, it's the adults, los adultos lo hacen. So kids, obviously they are going to imitate that uh, attitude, right? The tent, unfortunately it is. And dijo uh, regarding, de acuerdo a, relacionado a, regarding, recording. Es como, regarding se parece a esta palabra. According, according to. De acuerdo a, according to. Es una palabra que les podría servir. According to. So, um, I'm going to focus on here. Mountain and court time. Muchas personas le dicen mountain. Mountain, court, hmm. Entonces, a y la I son silent. Así las pronuncian. Y les digo esto por si alguna vez eh, no, no, no captan que, este, que están hablando. ¿Ve? Mountain, carton. O sea, TN, bien extraño. Mountain, carton. Lo he escuchado muchas veces, pero también mountain y carton. Me gusta mountain porque eh, uno pronuncia la T y la N. Mountain, mountain. Ok. And this curtain, similar a este, a este verbo. Write es escribir. Wrote es el pasado. Escribió. Y el pasado participio es... Grit. Se dice written, no written. Este sí. Se dice... Sorry. Así se pronuncia. ¿eh? Written. Pronúncialo. Written. Written. Bien extraño. Yeah. Ajá. Es, es como raro. Written. No, written. Ok. Búsquenlo en, 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 en Google y, y todo eso en el diccionario. Les va a salir eso. Written. Ok. So that's it. Um, uh, let's go to. Para cambiar. De aire. De que viernes. What's the name of this song in Fortnite? ¿A quién tenemos acá? A mí me toca, tío. Luis, yes, Luis, Luis. Teacher, okay. Yo nunca he compartido pantalla, así que ahí me explica primero. Please. Como me dijo alguien que no voy a decir quién fue. Para <laughs> todo hay una primera vez, my friend. Ok. Ok, teacher. Yes. Ok. Um, vamos a tener Oscar, you go on, on Monday, no tomorrow, Monday. Lunes, ok, Oscar. Ok, teacher. Te preparas ahí una, una serenata. Ok. <laughs> What's the name of this song? 
qué iba a hacer con mi vida. Bien. Um, tenés, you should have the open file. Debes tener el archivo abierto. Please. Okay, lo voy a abrir ahorita. Teacher. Ajá, abrilo. Cuando le des a compartir pantalla, share screen, te van a salir las diferentes ventanas. Espero que solo estés viendo cosas sanas. Dale ahí. Mm -hmm. Ajá, y ahí te va a salir. Ok. Ahorita ya lo tengo abierto, Ticha. Ok, dale compartir pantalla y te va a salir. Si no, te va a pasar como alguien, que no voy a mencionar el nombre, right? ¿Verdad? Compartir pantalla. Me tengo que ir al Zoom otra vez. Ajá, y te zoom en la parte de abajo, en la barra de abajo, sale compartir pantalla. Compartir. Solo le voy a decir que cuando terminemos este curso, todos van a saber compartir pantalla. That's really cool. Ya lo hice, Ticha. Vaya, ahora te salen las opciones, ¿verdad? Los archivos. Seleccionado el, el que vos querés. ¿A dónde, teacher? No me sale. ¿No te sale? Va. Um, permítame, teacher. Ah, sí, hoy sí. Uh -huh. Documento. Doble clic, sí. dale. Permítame. Permítame, teacher, que creo que me perdí aquí. Uh -huh. Todos nos hemos perdido en el camino, mi amigo. Todos. Se perdió, está borrando. It's possible. Oh. Es, eh, es ya posible. lo seleccioné, teacher, pero le doy doble clic. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Pero me, me da error, tipo de documento no compatible y selecciono una imagen o documento. Ajá. Vaya, ya tenés abierto la. Ya el, lo el, tengo el... abierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y nada. Ok. Sí, que no. ser así. Voy okay. documento. Después, vamos a ver, aquí está. Y eso me tira. Me tira error, tipo de documento no compatible. Y es un Word. Selecciono una imagen o tipo PDF. Ok. No, permíteme. Vaya. Um. Bien, va, fíjate aquí. Aquí estoy compartiendo esto, mira. Um, quiero ver, no, aquí te quería explicar acá, pero uh -huh, uh -huh. déjame ver, vamos a Zoom, aquí estoy en Zoom, no, no me sale, no, no me sale la opción, bien, lo que puedes hacer es mandarme la imagen, ok, ok, teach. ya se la mando. Ok, mándame la imagen y para mientras, we're going to continue mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. Solo nos quedan 25 minutos. Ok, and what about if we listen to Oscar and then Gabriel and then Duran. Ok, Oscar, are you ready? Thank you, sir. Please. <sighs> Teacher, ya se la mandé, pero no sé. Ya, ya reviso. Ahorita. The best on the world in our country. One of the best in tourism is beaches, volcanoes, gastronomy, typical food, among others. Yes. The worst thing is the beauty, politics, uh, Shanghai, a uh, little. But is it it is due to a loss of, of pride, value they have been lost in the, our country for education, in school, bus, salaries, little human appreciation. There okay. are many bad things in the country, unfortunately. But it's a country where we live on. We live on Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, really, really good opinion, uh, Oscar. Algo que voy a rescatar de eso es una frase que también él dijo, among others, que es entre otros. Eh, muy importante, you can use this phrase when you are explaining or you are giving a list, cuando están dando una lista de cosas, among others, entre otros. Okay. Carito, can you help me sharing? ¿Me ayudas a compartir, Carito? Se puede, Absolutely, teacher. Give me one minute. Please. Okay, no problem. Eh, mientras tanto, continuamos con Nina. Ya, ya pasaste, Nina. 
I'm sorry, no te puse mi. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what about Carlos? Okay, Carlos. Sorry, teacher. The say that some some other people is sharing. Now yes. you can do it. Okay. Oh, are you seeing? Permítame, Carlos. Antes, yes. Sí, ahorita vemos. Okay. Bien. Um, <laughs> Luis. Sí, can you read it? Vamos. Solo que si lo pueden, si lo pueden subir un poquito más, teacher, porque solo me sale la primera uh, por ahí. Todo lo vas a leer, Carlos. <ríe> no, hombre. No, okay. porque si no, si no la saben identificar. <ríe> ¿Cómo no, hombre? Van no. a saber. Easy peasy. <ríe> okay, easy peasy. Let's go. <ríe> okay. Uh, I am not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do. But I continue learning. I never mean to do to thing to you. And so I have to say before I go that it just went to you now. Okay, that I just want you to know. Yeah, you know what song it is? Creo que ya saben qué canción es, ¿verdad? Okay. Evelyn, Karinia. Mm -hmm. Perfect, the simple plan. No. It's not perfect from simple no. plan. Ah, ¿Por qué te la dedicaron, mm. Wendy? No, no, no. Relax, <laughs> relax. The reason. The yes, reason. the reason. Mm -hmm. The reason from Hubastak, right? Yes. Hubastak yes, is, is the It's a really good. I like the video. El video me. Me gusta. Kenia, Kenia todas las, todas las divinas. Es que ese, ese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really good sound. Creo que fue de los de los 2000, creo. Right? Creo que es de los. Sí, bien, por ahí, ahí, por ahí, sí. 2003. Ah, por ahí, sí. sí Yo sí, soy okay. pésima para esta actividad. ¿Por qué, carito? What's going on? No le pego a ninguno, no. No, no hay que no ser es violento. Really. O sea, que un concurso de adivinar canciones. <laughs> No. Ya perdí el módulo. Yeah. <laughs> ok, nice, nice. Well, Para el part... español soy más buena que el inglés, pues sí. <laughs> ok, definitely. Ah, no, pues sí. Yeah, interesante, interesante. Ok. No, but remember that when you read, it's different than when a person sings or the music. When you listen to the music, ah, I know what the song is. Y a veces uno capta, you get what is the. You have heard that song. Ya has escuchado esa canción, pero el nombre, the name, you don't remember the name in that moment. But later. For example, eh, no sé de quién puso qué día la de Adele. La identifiqué porque había estado escuchándolas, practicando el listening, si no. Ah, si no, creo que usted, vaya, ya ves que no está tan mal. Yeah. Si no, bueno, tal vez en la noche cuando estaban viendo el techo, así con lágrimas en los ojos, tal vez se acuerdan de la canción. Sometimes we remember the name of the songs. Thank you. Eh, Carlos, for Monday, eh, vamos con Oscar, a ver qué nos trae Oscar. Ok. Um, let's do this. Carlos, please, your opinion about it. Ok, teacher. In my opinion, the best of El Salvador are it, tour place, and is the typical food, and, and the world is politic for. Poverty do the low economic of our country and way it led our house to delinquent delinquent delinquency. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Poverty, pobreza, politics significa política, no políticos. Para decir político, o sea, un, un diputado, un candidato, politician. Politician is different than politics. Eh, cuando vean politics o simplemente politic significa política. ¿Ok? La palabra en sí es, es sustantivo. Pero politician significa político, ¿verdad? Una persona que es candidato. O maybe it's part of a, a political party. Y partido político se dice party. Como fiesta, pero no es fiesta. ¿Ok? Political party, definitivamente no es una fiesta eso. Okay. Bueno, tal vez si debía fondo y error, pero bueno. Um, let's see, we go now with listen, uh, listen, with reading. Vamos con la parte del 
gradient, ¿ok? Es, para, es bueno porque también estamos enfocando ya otras actividades, ¿verdad? Que son más parte de, de otro curso. Mi objetivo, como les he dicho, es mandarlos al siguiente módulo un poquito avanzado, lo más que pueda, lo más que pueda. Bueno. Well, esto ya está. Eso ya lo hicimos. No, vamos a buscar otra. Ok. Vamos a hacer esto. Nos quedan 17 minutos. No, antes de ir al reading, vamos a ver esto. Look at the words in bolds. Cuando vean bolds, eh, significa negrita. Por eso, cuando está la configuración de Word, Microsoft Word en inglés, en lugar de la N de negrita, aparece una letra B. Ya que significa bolds. And this, right? And complete the sentences below. Okay. So for this, I will need um, Wendy. Can you help me written this? Okay, Wendy. The guard, no guard. The guard, sin la u. Okay. The guard should answer my good morning. Greet, greeting. Greeting. Okay. Should. Greeting. Anotale. Should. Should. Should answer. Should. Ajá, Linda. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Okay. Handshake es un saludo de manos. Un saludo de manos firme. Ok. Solo shake es moverse o batir, como cuando bailan reggaetón que mueven el bote. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes, carito. That's it. Sí, bueno. Ok. You sh the, the supervisor. The supervisor should use a greeting in his email email is good and you should say please when you ask for a favor si sí, cuando tú pides un favor tiene que decir please okay so thank you you should plus um the infinitive form que es la forma infinitiva simplemente es el verbo okay should answer should greet should use should say okay And any complement, phrase, or express a direct suggestion. Miren, una sugerencia directa. You should. Tú deberías. Tú deberías comer más sano. Tú deberías hacer ejercicio. Tú deberías tomar agua. Esto va para los que no toman agua. Carito. Okay. So, should es una sugerencia. Están aconsejando. It's a suggestion. Suggestion significa sugerencia. Ok. Anoten esta palabra. Ok. One suggestion for you is bla bla bla, una sugerencia para ti, ¿ok? O la, el verbo, cuando ustedes dicen así, ¿ver? I suggest uh, you to, te sugiero, ¿ok? Or my suggestion is you should, mi sugerencia es, my suggestion is you should drink more water during the day, ¿ok? Y están dando sugerencia. Ok, let's see. ¿Qué me está escribiendo? Ok, Mardo. Thank you for telling me. And we go now here. And we have, let's see. Yvette, I need you to tell me this. Ok. Should not. Should not. Should not. Okay, Darío should not use many emojis in this image. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Jokes. Joke. Your boss should, should not, not should shout, shout. Shout at you. Ajá, yo te disparar. Tu jefe no te debería disparar. Oh, yes, but, but, but shout Sorry. es gritar. Shout, ok. Shout. Yes, esto se dice okay. loudly. Loud. Loudly. Sin la L y E significa fuerte, un sonido fuerte. Ok, loud. Pero loudly es fuertemente un sonido bastante. Ok, Gabriel, o sea, Gabriel, los dos Gabriel, should not tell sexist jokes. No deberían decir. Eh, Chistes, jokes, es chiste, por eso Joker, como el Joker, ok, jokes, sexist jokes, o lo que son un poco denigrantes, sexistas, ok, son all those things, ok, and shout, como una canción de un grupo que se llama Tears for Fears, que se llama Shout, 
shout. Ok, so really good. Entonces, shout. Por eso les digo que es importante escuchar canciones en inglés y todo, porque de broma en broma, los verbos se encuentran allí. Ahí están los verbos en las canciones, definitivamente. Ok, so use should. Espero que mañana, el lunes, el lunes, espero que el lunes, please, me digan should. Y no should. Should. Ok, should plus not. The infinitive form, the base form, the verb, any complement phrase to give us suggestions about something that is not, not appropriate. Para decir que algo que no es apropiado. Te sugiero no copiar en los exámenes. Te sugiero no desvelarte. Te sugiero no volver con tu ex. Okay? So there are a lot of suggestions that you can do. Should es algo que debes hacer. Should not something that you don't have to do. Algo que no tienen que hacer. Bien, necesito que me preparen ahorita una de estas, ¿ok? Ya sea una de should or una de should not. Depends on you, depende de ustedes, ¿ok? Mientras me siguen contestando la, 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 las preguntas, ¿ok? Las pueden hacer. Cualquiera de estas, should or should not. Aquí les dejo estos ejemplos, ¿ok? Para que vean cómo pueden hacer. Should or should not. Ok, eh, what about... Claudia, um, mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. A ver, mencioname lo bueno, lo malo. Y lo malo, el, yes. Mal, el bueno, el malo y el feo. Okay. Uh, the best of El Salvador are the landscape, the lakes and the beach, and obvious the typical food, such as pupusas, The tradition of El Salvador, fried yuca, papa fritas, elote, el chuco, etc. El chuco. That's it. <laughs> chuco is really good with French bread. Con pan francés. Mm, delicious. Delicious. That's it. Uh, good. Thank you. Landscape significa paisajes. And actually, yes. Landscapes are so amazing in different parts of El Salvador. You can go to the mountain. You can go to the beach, you can go to the volcano. There are some other places and you can have good, really good pictures. Okay, so that's it. So that's why people, when, when people come from the United States or from another parts of the world, they visit a lot of places in here and they took good pictures. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Um, let me see. Now we go with uh, Wilfredo. And then Duran. Okay, Wilfredo. And then Duran. Uh, the best of El Salvador, the beach, three place, and living towns. Uh, the words of El Salvador, insecurity and crime. Yeah, insecurity and crime. Thank you. That's it. Okay, we'll go with Duran and then Mardo. Okay, Duran and Mardo. Okay, teacher. The best of El Salvador are the uh, pupusas, its beaches, and its people. And the word of El Salvador is the insecurity caused in the, by the guns. Yes, yeah, definitely it is. It is really hard and sad because uh, you can't visit all the places in El Salvador with your family. Because of that, because of the security and crime. Okay, thank you. Then let's see. Well, there is an anecdote in which a friend of mine told me that uh, she, wa she went to San Miguel with her family. They were driving in a microbus, Ivan Cruz, and they uh, went to it to, I don't remember if in Pollo Campero or some other restaurant. When they returned to the to the to the car, the car was opened. So uh, all the belongings, las pertenencias, all the belongings disappeared. No money, no belongings. There was they had like two computers, tablets, everything disappeared. Así que llegaron los ladrones ahí, pues les abrieron las cosas. So imagine it was like a, a vacation trip with family but the end was really sad well 
And what if we listen to Edwin? I don't know if Edwin is available. If not, we go with Mardo. Okay. Mardo, are you ready? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. The good, the good, the good thing about El Salvador is it tourist place. Yeah, tourist places. Mm -hmm. Places. Yes. Yeah. And what about the worst, the bad things? Uh, the worst is delinquency, teacher. Delinquency mm -hmm. or crime? Delinquency. Yes. Delinquency. Yes. I guess that is. <laughs> I don't know, it is difficult to agree. It's difficult to eh, ponerse de acuerdo en muchas cosas, pero en, con respecto a las opiniones, I guess we all agree that crime and violence is the worst. Lo peor es la violencia y el crimen aquí. Eso sí podemos estar de acuerdo. Okay. Um, we're about to finish. We have seven minutes. Seven son of the seven son. Okay. We go one by one. Carlos. Give me your sentence. Dame tu oración. Should or should okay, not? Teacher. Depende de ti. Come on. Uh, las dos tengo. Las puedo dar. Go. Okay. My friend should order the pupusas. Oscar uh, I'm sorry. Should... Can you repeat? Puedes decirlo no? My, my friend should order the pupusas. Should. ¿qué? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Should order. Should order. Order. Okay. Ordenar. Okay, and okay. the other? Okay. Yeah, the, in the other, oh, Oscar should not drink salt beer. Okay, deja lo que tome. Okay, thank you. Carito. And then, okay, teacher. And then <laughs> Steffi. My husband should listen to me always because I am always right. Are you sure of that? Absolutely. Are you complete sure? Mm, okay. Totally. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what, is, what about the other sentence? Do you have the other? No, just one. Okay. Well, nice. Perfect. And we go with um, Steffi and Evelyn. You should drink more water. Definitely. Estás escuchando, Bacarito. Okay, um, Evelyn and Gabriel. The doctor should pay more attention to him patients. patients. Okay, the doctor should pay more attention to patients. Yes. Yes, that's it. And talking about that, unfortunately, we have in the private clinics, the treatment, el trato, el trato, el tratamiento is better than the public. Uh, right public uh, health la salud pública unfortunately yes thank you uh, Gabriel and Duran okay Gabriel you go okay Gabriel shouldn't talk about politician okay <laughs> good <laughs> thank you Hold I like it on. okay Duran you go oh Carlos should not drive drums okay Drunk, no debería manejar así. Poco mareado. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. it. Thank you. Uh, we go with Yvette and then Kenya. Okay, Yvette. Um, you should not play in the street. Okay, on the street. Okay, on you should street. not play on the street. Es como cuando decimos caminar. Walk on the street, okay? On yeah, you should not, especially kids, right? Now because of there are a lot of cars and people crazy driving, really crazy. <laughs> yes, and Kenya and Luis. Okay, my sister should not run after she's eating. Yes, run after she has eaten. Mm -hmm. Or she ate the particular come here. Thank you. Uh, Luis and Mardo. Okay, teacher. Kenya should not fall in love. Okay, should not fall in love. No se tiene que enamorar. Okay. No. <laughs> Eso suena como consejos de carito. Carito. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. 
Yes. Mardo. And then Oscar. Oseas should drink the medicine. Okay. Um, Oscar and Nina. Gabriel should not tell soccer or, or football. Okay, good. Nina and Wilfredo. The manager should use a business card for presentation him. And the other Diego should not speak slowly. Okay, really good one. And Wilfredo and Claudia. He should participate in class. Okay, good one. Claudia and when? Uh, she should, I not, and uh, coffee. Okay, I'm can you? Not like it. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, she should. I not like coffee. Okay, esa sí está un tanto. No se capta muy bien. She should. Uh -huh. She should uh, not uh, like it coffee. Okay. O sea, esa a ella no le gusta el café. Uh -huh. no. no, no es así esta oración. Esta oración. Son de sugerencias o recomendaciones. Ah. ah, bueno, bueno. Yo creo que a ella no, no le no debería usar el café. No, sería she should not. Ajá, drink. she should not drink. Debe de haber ajá, drink verbo coffee. Ajá, de acción. Okay. De acción, ah, bueno. Uh, Wendy, please. Ok. The supervisor, supervisor shouldn't listen music while they are working. Shouldn't listen to music. Well, there are some jobs in which you can listen to music, but if your job is to monitor, supervise, or check or watch out some personnel, mm, you should. You, you should not listen to music. Okay, thank you, my dear friends. Solo comentarles que eh, después de esto nos quedan ocho clases. Really good. So, significa que, sí, ya casi estamos por terminar, ¿verdad? Ocho clases, no falten y si van de camino, conéctense, solo no, me comentan que están de oyentes, cuando lleguen a su casa, igual, ¿verdad? Nos dicen que, que ya están, pues, activos para participar, ¿ok? Um, pónganle, pónganle un poquito de empeño, sé que, le, sé que hacen un sacrificio y los admiro, but you should give the extra mile, tienen que dar como que la mía extra un poquito más, ya estamos para terminar, y recuerden que se trata de, de, de meter el feeling, aprender más, porque el otro curso, si está otro teacher, es posible que les exija más todavía. Y no puede ser que ustedes es, es, vayan, digamos así, con muchos vacíos. Okay, so I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Um, Carlos, hello there. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye, bye bye. Bye. And Edwin, no, right? And Steffi? Bye. Bye. Evelyn? Hello, teacher. Bye. Gabriel? Present teacher. And Duran? Present teacher. Nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye. Kenya, Luis? Bye, teacher. Bye. Hello, Mardo, teacher. Oscar? Bye, teacher. Nina, Wilfredo. Good night. Present teacher. Uh, Claudia, Wendy. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, Present si ya me ha lista. Se me desconectó ahí. Lo disculpe. Ok. Sí, ya te puse acá. Ok. okay. So, see okay. you Monday, my friends. So, have a good night. Descansen. Pórtense bien y mal. Bye, bye. Good Happy night. weekend. Bye. bye. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye.
Okay, unfortunately, we don't have um, the presence of the student, right? Um, so the topic for tonight's class is how to use should and should not. Mm, I'm going to have like a, a, a brief review about the content we studied tonight. So here we have at the, first, uh, at the beginning, Mm, you have a conversation. I can't believe it, Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. So um, something really interesting is this activity. Um, let's start here, we have a question. Does your company have regulations about employee behavior? Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Interesting topic because in our country, we have uh, like commonly, negative behavior in different companies so that's why there is uh, there are some regulations which help uh, the, the environment of the company and then we have some two, well two questions this is the question with a partner but here we have behavior that's a, a short definition the way that someone acts in different situations the company expects polite behavior from all employees. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. So here we have number one. Uh, question number one. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? And number two, it says, what are some rude behaviors you co-workers are not expected to do. And here we have um, And here we have these sentences. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should, should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor.
Dario should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. And your boss should not shout at you.